What's up everyone? Uh, my name's Kevin and I'm an intern for Learnivore this summer and today we'll be learning how to uh, play me and Sebastian's theme from La La Land. Uh, so within the coming weeks I'm gonna be doing a live series uh, every week. Today I'm doing it on Friday but starting next week I'll do it uh, Tuesdays uh, at 6 p.m. and so what I'm gonna do each week is just go over different um, songs from La La Land and I'll be teaching you how to transcribe them, like guiding you through the process and giving you tips and whatnot. And so yeah, let's get started with me and Sebastian's theme. So with transcription, um, the thing you really need to do is just listen to the, the, the song over and over and over again until you really know like the melody and then you'll be able to transfer um, those notes onto the piano. So um, let's start with just listening to me and Sebastian's theme. Um, Yeah, so it's a really easy melody. Um, everyone probably already knows it and memorized it, and it's all in their heads. Um, so, I, so like if you can play it, I mean, if you can sing it, then you can obviously play it. So, um, it goes like da 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 da, and so. Um, you can like feel the beat first to you want to because like first you want to make sure you get the the meter right and if you like clap to the melody you can like really feel the beat and if if you can notice that it's a three four um, meter so da 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 one two three da 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 one two three um, so yeah, let's start with the right hand then. Um, so first we, we want to find the, the first note of the, the melody. Um, so just da da, just trying to search for it. Da da, so, da. The great thing about piano is like everything's laid out in front of you so if you can tell that the note is lower or higher you could just like move your way up da so that's our first note da 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 and the second note is da 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 so we can continue on da da Da, 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 da. Yeah. And that just repeats itself over and over um, multiple times in this piece. So, da, 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 da. yep. And that's all in, in three, four. One and two and three and one, two, three. One, one and two and three and one, two, three. So yeah. Um, next we can figure out the, the left hand. Um, so we'll start from the beginning again. Just pull this up on Spotify. So you can obviously hear uh, the bass line that goes like bum bum 
Bam bam. Bam bam. Bam bam bam. And same thing as with your right hand, you want to transfer that o over to the piano. Um, so we'll try to find the first note. Bam. Bam bam. So that so it's an A. Bam. And the second note uh, is bam 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 bam. So yep, it's gonna be bam bam. And the next one is next uh, part will be bam bam. So bam 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 bam. And if you listen to the song again, mm-hmm, so. Yeah, you can you can uh, tell that um, the the melody the bass line goes quarter note one two quarter note one two so quarter quarter note then half note and quarter note then half note and it follows that um, uh, until the bum ba da. Um, so, yeah, um, um, yeah, for, so for, for transcribing, there's a lot and lot of listening that you have to do, so don't worry if it takes you forever, so, because, like, when I first started to transcribe music, it took me listen over listen over listen, and it does get frustrating, but in the end, it, 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 it's all worth it. Um, because, like, when you transcribe, um, especially for, like, jazz, when you're transcribing solos of your favorite um, jazz musicians, then actually, like, doing going through the process of transcribing it can help you understand, like, what what they were thinking while they were... They were uh, doing the improv solo, um, and it's just a awesome skill to have, especially like when there's a new pop tune you really like and you just want to play it on piano. Um, so, yeah, um, a, another good tool that's awesome for when, you, when you're transcribing is. Um, Transcribe. It's called transcribe um, with an exclamation point. It's a software that basically takes any song and like you could adjust the speed of it um, so that you can really zone in on the on the rhythms and really figure out the notes. Um, but it, sadly, it, after thirty days, you like you get a free trial for thirty the first thirty days, but afterwards you have to pay for it but uh also what you can do is go on youtube and just search the song and like for here like here i i looked up me and sebastian's theme and if you go to the settings here, let me try to focus it but yeah if you go to the settings you'll see speed and you can adjust it so that it's a bit slower. Like for for this one, um, the melodies are pretty simple, so you don't really need to slow it down all that much. Sadly, 
though with YouTube though like the audio quality gets worse as you um, change the speed of it but with transcribe it doesn't do that um, so yeah hopefully those tips helped you um, to get started on transcribing um, and after like writing all like the right hand and the left hand on like a sheet paper or or just like you could also use notation software like Finale um, and hopefully you'll be able to produce something like this. that helped and you got a, something out of this and I if you enjoy the series then hopefully I'll see you next week on Tuesday